Welcome everyone to Nitro! Ladies and gentlemen, last night we crowned our World War 3 winner and it will be Scott Hall who goes to Starcade to face his former leader, Hulk Hogan. Well, there's the new sheriff in town, people. For months and months and months, someone was working as a secret executive, going over Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff's head, going over the head of the NWO, and who was it? It was Dusty Rhodes all along. The new man in charge. I'm not butchering the accent. There's a lot... Uh, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot that's been building up for a long time. And man, oh man, I am here to clean things up. And we are getting it all started tonight. Now, no surprise that Hulk Hogan hasn't even bothered turning up tonight. Now, that's fine. You don't have to turn up... See, we crowned a World War 3 winner last night, and Scott Hall will be going to Starcade to face you, Hogan. But one thing I want to point out, Wolfpack, you ain't like the NWO as well, the black and white. You ain't above WCW. So, tonight, opportunities will be given. People will have chances to show what they can do but in our main event I'm going to put four teams together and they are going to compete and the winners of that match are going to face the Steiner brothers at Starcade. Now I want to represent this company I want to be standing here and doing good which is why I'm going to make sure the NWO is kept very busy. What the hell is he doing? It's kept very busy tonight. Scott Hall will get the Disciple inside a steel cage. And as for Kurt Hennig, you're going to get a shot at the Hardcore Championship. Yep, one-on-one -on -one with Vader. Booker T and Luger are going to kick things off for us. But tonight, Rock and Roll Express, Team Wolfpack, Team NWO, or Hollywood, whatever you want to be called, and Team WCW will go at it. And Dusty Rhodes, man, what does he mean by team? Well, he said Rock and Roll Express, and he said Team WCW, Team NWO, and Team Wolfpack. He set up a big four team four way for our main event tonight. The new sheriff is in town and he's making sure everyone knows he's in charge. Well, Dusty Rhodes has laid down the law. He is the man in charge. And we are starting things off with a champion versus champion match. They need to do something with the title belts, man. They're so dark and bronze looking. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is the United States champion, Booker T. You can take that King Booker crap and ram it right up your hole, man. I despise that gimmick. Hated it so much. Well, Booker T won that triple threat match against Conan and Bret the Hitman Hart to get the United States Championship. Booker T once again holding the US title as he's about to go one-on-one -on -one non title match against the television champion. Now, we don't have the television championship belt right now. There was one there, but for some reason, whoever, the person that created it decided to cover it in modern WWE logos. Yet he used the old WCW television title design to do it, which just doesn't make any sense to me. But either way, people, Lex Luger is the television champion. He left his belt at the airport. 
we'll get it back for hope, hope well, I wouldn't say next episode the next episode will be up in all of a couple of days so maybe the following week hopefully by Starcade, I'll right, we'll go by that I'm hoping by the time we get to all the pay-per-views we've got everything on each show, ECW is still my biggest worry because there's nothing there right now nothing at all Well, it's champion versus champion, non-title as well. Booker went, 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 put the hand in the air. Don't know what he was going for. Luger just grabbed him and threw him down. Well, Lex Luger, he has been very unhappy. The fact that, well, two things. One, Scott Hall, the man he really despises, had a serious rivalry with through all of last season. One World War Three, so you know that's got to be just chewing at him. And Booker T, of course, was the man who eliminated Lex Luger in World War Three. Lex Luger obviously taking that very personally. And Luger, man, he is all over Booker T right now. Well, the road to Starcade is what's kicking things off with us people. As Booker T right now, whose dreads have grown some length since the pay-per-view last night. Actually, can't remember what his dreads were like in the last game, but he shot along. Well, either way, let's look up. Well, we've got a big four-way tag team match tonight. The winning team is going to face the Steiners. The Rock and Roll Express, he said Team WCW, who we can now confirm is Goldberg and Diamond Dallas Page is, wait a minute, NWO music's playing again, and wait a minute, and there's everyone's favourite pain in the ass, it's the Disciple, well he's going to be in action tonight, as all watch out, Luger, Luger, and he's going to book him down, the referee, no oh, man. And the Disciple is going to be locked in a cage later tonight. Well, the NWO's numbers are definitely short tonight. Hulk Hogan hasn't even bothered showing up. Feeling embarrassed by what happened at the end of Starcade last night. As you can imagine, Scott Steiner is most definitely not here after what Goldberg done to him. Steiner Brothers, the tag team champions, are not here for obvious reasons. Hulk Hogan hasn't bothered showing up tonight. Our own heavyweight champion. He thought Diamond Dallas Page was going to join him in the NWO. And it was not to be the case. As look at Booker T right now, he is wrapping Luger up. At the end of the show last night, Hulk Hogan took a diamond cutter from DDP and a bionic elbow from Dusty Rhodes, our executive here on Nitro. As in, oh man, I thought Booker was going to get caught there, but he scoops him up. Yeah, there he goes, man. Big spine buster there into the cover, and there's the Disciple doing what he always does. And the Disciple's up on the apron. As Booker T, though, he doesn't care. He's just going to keep going here. And Booker T lands the axe kick. He's right at the ropes though. Booker T, same mistakes as last season. Well, I will admit this game's not been as glitchy as previous games. But, well, I still had to edit a big chunk out of a... Uh, not a big chunk. Well, I had to edit out an entire women's match. Get issues with the women. Story of my life. These guys on the outside now. Luger and Luger right into the steps, man. Lex Luger's taking things really personal. God, you got eliminated out of World War Three. As in, where is he going? We're at the count of five here. Where the hell is Luger going? His book of T gets a shot and sends him over. As and well, I thought we were looking at a count out there. Irony that both shows open with count outs. 
Uh, as Lex look up. He got back in the ring first, able to take advantage of it. And, oh man, and Luger using that arm. It's no secret, there's a metal plate in that arm. That's why he uses that lariat. And, and God, another one. I was like four lariats in a row, pretty much. That could have knocked Booker T out cold. And I think it did. He hit him four times with a lariat. There is a metal plate in the arm of Lex Luger. Let's not take away the fact that the Disciple was out here. NWO numbers playing the factor that they always do. Booker T went for a pin there. I'm not saying he would have won it there, but, well, we will never know. As Luger landed all those lariats there, that metal plate. Now, you know what, Disciple? You can smile and laugh all you want. What are you going to do tonight when you're locked inside a steel cage with World War Three winner Scott Hall? Ladies and gentlemen, a challenge was just made backstage and I don't think I really want to see this. As there's the nature boy, Ric Flair, with four horsemen member, Psycho Sid. Rey Mysterio was backstage there. He got in the way of Sid. And Ric Flair said to him, do you think, do you think you're that tough? Stick to the cruiserweights, Rey Mysterio. Just challenged Sid Vicious to a match. I don't know about you, but that is a that is a ballsy move. Ric Flair, of course, he had his mind well set on winning World War Three, but it was not to be. The four horsemen tried to win World War Three. Ric Flair, Sid Vicious, Jeff Jarrett, Dean Malenko, but they couldn't get the job done. Now, people, before anyone goes in the comments and goes crazy, I know Rey Mysterio didn't have these tattoos in WCW. Deal with it. Not much we can do. The belts, the belts look weird to me, man. They, they almost look bronze. They're dead dark. I don't know what it is. If it's just the lighting or something, I don't know. But it's just weird. Well, Rey Mysterio, tights tonight. The number 619 on this side. He said that that is his new move. He said he's got a new move tonight that he wants to show. And you know what? After the moves he pulled in that match against Juventud Guerrera to win that Cruiserweight Championship, good God, man, ain't no one going to judge Ray. It was a false count anywhere match and Ray Mysterio jumped off the ladder to the outside of the ring, putting Juventud through a table. Here we go, man. Ray, you are definitely... And that was one kick. One kick just took Ray right down. Let's look at Ray. Trying to hit back here. And, oh, man, Ray didn't even connect that there. How can you miss? Look at Sid, just shot after shot. Oh, man, the Cruiserweight Champion. Why is Ray in this match? Why the hell would you do this match, Ray? Look at that, man. Look at Sid just lifting him up like he's nothing. And God! I'll never take it away from Ray, as I said, especially after that false count anywhere match against Juventud Guerrero. But man, Sid must literally be twice the size as Ray. And man, look, he just slapped his legs out the way. As Sid, good God, man. I thought he was going to launch him out the ring there. Let's look at Ray. Look at the fight in Ray. Ray with another shot there. As in, oh, good God, man. The referee got in the way there. Look at Ray, though. He was able to take Sid down. He's got him down, but the referee's down. Ray's got a cover in. Oh, man, Sid was just lying there, toying with him. 
No, really, that's it. You've got to stay on him. You have got to stay on, Sid. You have got to keep this man down. As in, oh, Sid. And Sid just pulls his leg away. And Sid now. Oh, man. Dropped a huge leg on him there. Look at Sid. Look at these shots. And Sid, man, he is an absolute good draw. Oh, and Sid, he's calling. He wants to end this. As an, oh, and Ray. And Ray with a drop gun. He didn't even, just barely stumbled him there. As just grabs his head and slams him off the canvas. Well, Sid seems to think that'll do the trick. I'll tell you right now, the only way you're going to keep Ray down is if you you need to take him out if you want to keep him down. And oh man, and again, got him choked up here. Man, Sid is absolutely dominating Ray right now, and oh my God, just. Oh, 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 he pulled his legs out. And, oh, man, a face crusher. There's Ray now. And where's Ray going? He's top rope. And Ray. And Ray. How the hell did you manage to jump over a seven foot tall man's head? Ray must have thought he had to put in more effort. By God, he tried. As oh wait a minute, Ray, going to use the ring to his advantage here. As he launches Sid across the ring. And oh man, look at Ray. And Sid. Up and oh my god, he got caught and Sid with the bomb. A vicious bomb there, and he's not even going for the pin. Oh man, Ray, what were you thinking? And oh my god, Ray's kicked out again as Ray tensed up. Is Ray? Oh, where the hell's Ray going? Ray, Ray! And oh, oh man! Ray Mysterio Jr.'s got the shoulders down and oh my god, and look at Sid. He got caught off guard there. And oh, here comes Sid right back into the ring. As oh my god, just scoops him up like he's a small child. God! As in, oh man, Sid's had enough. Is, look at Ray! And think out with a choke slam! Landed a DDT! Is Ric Flair now getting Ray's attention? As, and oh, look at Sid! Just grabs him in a front headlock there. Hitting him with the knees. And oh man, what a shot! Oh, God, man, look at Sid go, man. Oh, man, Ray. He just get bounced off that corner. God, he still won't stay down. And, oh, elbow there. I think Sid's busted open. And, oh, my God, he went for a heel kick. Sid, though, managed to jump out the way of it. Sid doing now. Sid's just realised he's bleeding. Actually, I think Ray's bleeding as well. Hard to tell, obviously, with the mask on. I said, and said, God. Come on, Ray. When's enough enough? As in, God, he went straight for the open wound. Oh, God, look at Sid, though, just scoops him up again. Oh, man. 
Ray is giving it his all. As all. He's got him around the throat again. And Ray, this time. God, man. Choke slammed. As Sid drags him away from the ropes. Into the cover. It's over. I'll give credit where it's due, man. Ray put up some fight. He really did try. He nearly caught him there. I actually thought he was going to get a three at one point. And look at Ray, man. He got out of the choke slam, but unfortunately, look at that. Look at the speed of that. And Sid. And Sid is victorious. I'll put a little rate. Uh, that was a fair fight, Sid. Well done, big man. You deserved that victory, didn't you? Well, time for more NW action. Dusty was very nice to grant Kurt Henning a shot at the Hardcore Championship tonight. That was awful nice of him. It's just a shame that the Hardcore Champion's Vader. I should make a change that, so it was it actually said Kurt Henning. I'd done that with Disciple and Booker T. I forgot to do it with him. So much editing in the space of one day, people. Actually, I think I forgot to put the hardcore title on him as well. I was bound to make mistakes somewhere. Well, that is for the hardcore title. Vader was the or is the hardcore champion. Just has to technically win it again right now. And, oh man, down goes Henning, and it looks like Vader. As in, oh man, got with a drop kick there. And, well, that was a bad idea. As, well, Henry keeps trying to get out of the way of everything. For whatever use that's doing him. As, oh, Henry there. As Vader fires him away. And, oh, Vader. God, over the ropes. Let's falls count anywhere, people. Anything goes. And, oh, well. Wouldn't be a hardcore match without some wood. Especially with Vader. And, oh, off the steps there. God, right into the guardrail. There's Vader now. Up in the shoulder, just drops him on it again. And, God, what's Vader doing with him here? And, oh, oh, oh man. That had to hurt. I like they've put a little sound effect in when you take a weapon out from the apron. And, oh man, sounds off the weapons are a bit animated. With the chair off the gut anyway. And, God, I don't even think he hit him properly there, he just kind of fell over. As Henning, and Henning put Vader right into the chair there. Is all Henning though you came right to him. As Vader, oh god, Vader's went right after those steel steps. As Henning though, he'll really push away from it. 
As, oh, he gets scooped up there. Where the hell's he going with him? As, and Hennig again, man, dropped. Right on the guardrail. So here comes Hennig back into the ring. Back down he goes. There's Vader now. And right into the corner there. There's all wait and Vader and oh good god Vader tripped over if everybody went through everything there. As in God, Henning uses his steps. And Henning now just a quick bit of luck there. He's able to take control. And oh man, Vader just shot up to his feet. Vader just shot up to his feet. He does not look happy. Vader, man, he just right up to his feet there. It's Vader now. And Vader, God, right through that table there. Is Vader now? He's waiting for Henning. As up he goes, Vader, bomb. He hooks the leg. Good God. And oh, and Vader's shouting to the crowd. Do I end it? Guys, oh man, here we go of it there. Is any somehow, some way? And oh, what a shot! Vader, Vader, where the hell are you going? And Vader! And oh my god, off the top rope! Vader! Off the top rope! My god, Henning somehow kicked out of that as well. And jeez! As, oh, Henning, somehow! Somehow, some way there. As Henning now, he's got Vader in the perfect position. And oh man, he might have an opportunity here. As Henning got Vader! And does oh, suplex! Oh, he stole it! He stole it! Oh, that was a lot faster to kick out of than it used to be. I have not played that. I've played... Yeah, I've really not played matches in this. Oh, it's nice to see this animation still hasn't fucked off. And Hennig trying to offer Vader a handshake. And Vader just... Vader seems a bit in shock that he actually messed up there. Get caught completely off guard. And what was meant to be a punishment just resulted in Kurt Hennig winning the Hardcore Championship. How the hell did that happen? Well, here comes a man who... 
Gave himself a little boost up the ass towards the end of last season when he managed to win the United States Championship in War Games. He was definitely the surprise victor of that match. But it gave him that little career boost to tell him that he still has it. One thing I need to practice at this game, man. It's definitely a few bits that are just a little bit different here and there. As well, here comes Jim, the Anvil Nightheart. Although the heart bit of his name, you could almost say, has been destroyed. If you are new to this universe, I'll always keep you filled in on what happened last season. Jim Nightheart betrayed by Bret Hart and British Bulldog when they opted to join the NWO and not take the anvil with them. Well, these two, oh. Dusty said it was all about opportunity tonight. He wasn't kidding as look at Anvil. These are two men that definitely want to show what they can do. The Hammer wants to prove he ain't finished yet. Nightheart, he wants to show that he can he can do it on his own. He's capable of a singles run. Another tie up here. Nightheart pushing Valentine right to the ropes. And again, and it's Valentine this time pushing Nightheart right into the corner where his skin has engulfed the ring rope. A cheap shot by Valentine there. Oh, and oh, that's not a cheap shot. That is just a headbutt. Oh, went for a bang. Almost gave Nightheart the power slam. As, oh, watch out, Nightheart. Little roll up there. Even the referee wasn't ready for it. As oh, night hop. There's the hammer now. I said two men determined to show they can still. They've still got a singles run left in them. Comes back. Oh, Duck Dunder there. Big back body drop. As, oh, watch out. And dear God, man, what a German. As, oh, I thought it was a neck wrench. We haven't had a neck wrench tonight. <laughs> we have established that they do still do it. Maybe they don't do it as much as they used to. That'd be a shame. Well, there's bound to be a few of you out there that hate listening to me shout neck wrench. <laughs> and oh man, we call that a bitch chop. The hammer is out to show what he can do. They're very back and forth between these two. And this time, man, Hammer sent, man. He got hammered off the apron. Nightheart. Oh, caught by Valentine there. And these two, man, they are really determined to show what they can do. Oh, bounced off each other there. Hammer though. Valentine right back on to him. And at the corner, man, just clotheslined him right into it. Well, Greg the Hammer, Valentine never afraid to take a shortcut. As oh! The neck wrench, brutal neck wrench locked in. It is still everyone's favourite move. You can always rely on the old timers to give you a good neck wrench. 
Well, this is very even between these two, constantly back and forth. I pretty much needed an extra match and this won it because of, I, as you can imagine, I've, I need community creations to create a lot of stuff and I didn't really want to wait a week to do this. I kind of wanted to just get a couple of videos up. So, unfortunately, we're taking a hit when it comes to some of the people we don't have. But hopefully in a week or two, we'll be back to normal. Hopefully we'll get some community creations. They don't need to be brilliant community creations, but as long as they're doable, usable, get better ones down the line. It's Valentine back to the outside again. Nightheart going after him. Oh, man, on the outside. These two are proper going at it, by the way. They are battering each other. As, whoa! And, oh my god, was that a martial arts kick by the hammer? As, oh man! We are at the count of six. Count of seven. As, and Nighthawk into the ring post. And all oh, in a second time. Count of eight is God, man. These two are destroying each other. There's the hammer now. And my God, man. These two battled each other. That was very back and forth, man. These two were going at it. This was meant to just be a filler match and... Ended up with something building from it. I mean, a count out victory, bashing him off the ring post. Valentine, what was the, what was with that? My God, man. These two are, I think one of them owed the other one money. Man, oh man, they, they proper went at it there. Well, bring down that cage and bring the Disciple back out here. Well, he's already got involved in one match tonight, but something tells me after this he'll not be getting involved in another. Kurt Hennig for the NWO has already managed to pull a somehow, some way, one hell of a sneaky victory. There's NWO Hollywood and the NWO Wolfpack. Oh man, did I not change Scott Hall's music? I literally changed everyone else's music and forgot to change his. It's annoying when you need to do that much editing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is the World War Three winner. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. And Scott Hall instantly takes him down had to restart this match there thanks to a little glitch that happened hopefully it doesn't happen again but it probably will so fingers crossed it doesn't as in oh i came across this moments ago man the amount of ways you can throw them into the cage is pretty cool but scott hall and disciple gonna go at it here scott hall who is gonna meet and oh disciple little shot there The reversing really needs to be bang on now, like proper millisecond timing. And Scott Hall out to obviously teach a little lesson tonight. As all oh, watch out and oh, he got dropped on those ropes there. Oh, Scott Hall right back up, though. Scott Hall is out to deliver punishment tonight. And Scott Hall is all over the Disciple right now. Disciple more guts than brains, in a way, to be honest. And Scott Hall, he's laughing. 
you wonder why Hulk Hogan's been champion for so long? Look at this man. The disciple has protected him all the way. Well, I'd say this is him getting his comeuppance, but he's got it umpteen times. He always comes back. And man, any time Disciple looks like he's even getting a little bit of momentum on his side, he is just getting shot right back down. Off the cage he goes again. And Scott Hall playing to the crowd. Oh, booted him right in the ass. His disciple with desperation moves. Where the hell is he going? As in... Oh, man. Will he get caught there? Yes, he did. The AI reversing in this game is so overpowered, it is ridiculous. I just done this match, but as I said, I had a glitch, so pretty much had to restart it. And he reversed four finishers out of out of six. He reversed four out of six. I think the reversing's a bit overpowered. And I'm not a huge fan of how bang on. Oh, good God! Not the neck wrench! Oh, man! The brutal neck wrench. Well, we needed a neck wrench tonight, didn't we? I reverse one of every ten moves, you know that? There's always got the disciple by the throat, though! He's back up to his feet again. Oh, and Scott Hall ain't finishing this, not just yet. He ain't done with them. As he's throwing the disciple about this ring right now. God. Disciple in a bad place. Go, oh, man, out of the way there. And, oh, he came in, but he got caught. And the Disciple is up. The Disciple is down. And Scott Hall goes over to the door, and he gets up instantly. Man, and all oh, the, the referee right in the referee's face. And Scott Hall, and I say the disciple, they're guts than brains. And Scott Hall is dominating this man right now. And oh, God. And Scott Hall. Wait a minute. Look up. This is what happened last time. And I couldn't get off of this. I actually can't, no matter what I do. I can't climb down. I can't climb up. Look up and a field. And I can't do anything. I cannot move. Why can't I at least go to the turnbuckle? Can I? Why can't I jump from the turnbuckle? Why can't I climb the fuck out? Oh, he's getting up this time. Well, Disciple back to his feet here, taking advantage of the distraction. As, well, I was hoping if I kicked him off, I'd be able to jump, but apparently not. All right, I need to let him pull me down. Uh, right, come on. Well, Lex Luger with the distraction here. Which has allowed Disciple a chance to take him down. But whoa! Out of the way there and... Oh, God! And oh, no. And oh! And oh, man! As in, oh, man, oh, I thought Disciple was climbing out there. As, 
Oh, Scott Hall caught him, though. Well, we're going to need to do this like this because Lex Luger is not leaving. He's, oh, he's got him again here. And Scott Hall. And Scott Hall has got the disciple up on his shoulders. And God! And oh wait, Scott Hall, he's looking over at Lex Luger. Plenty of history between these two. And Scott Hall ain't finished yet. He's going to do it again. Disciple, this time, center of the ring. And Luger out the cage, nothing he can do. This is why Disciple was locked in the cage in the first place. Well, a little bit longer than I'd have liked it to be. Well, look up. Well, Scott Hall's daring him to come into the ring now, but he ain't coming. And oh, Disciple though, Luger's standing on the rampway. Scott Hall's daring him to come in and get him. But he ain't moving. Scott Hall's going to do this again. And the Disciple. Lex Luger and Scott Hall, man. This was meant to be over between these two. Luger just pure jealousy at the fact Scott Hall was going to main event Starcade. Well, people are meant to tell you after the antics that Ric Flair pulled and Ric Flair and Sid against Rey Mysterio are meant to tell you. To Dusty told Rick, if you think you're getting the night off, that ain't happening. Get your, you are in a match tonight. Get your ring gear on and get to the ring. He says, because I've got another guy who still thinks he can go and still has some fuel in the tank to give you a fight. So who the hell's Ric Flair facing? God, I hope it's not Arn Anderson again. And wait a minute. Oh, well, we've seen him a couple of times. A couple of times in the last universe he popped up. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Ric Flair are going to go again. Well, Dusty said he was going to give opportunities, Nightheart and Valentine, they booted the hell out of each other. And it looks like Steamboat thinks he's still got a little something to give as well. Oh, victory over the nature boy. He's still in his, still in his prime time. Sid, of course, defeating Rey Mysterio earlier tonight as, oh, Steamboat just took him down. Flair. And well, Steamboat and oh, Flair just got out of the way there. Look at Steamboat though, man, straight back onto his feet, straight back onto him. Steamboat try to show us what he can do here going for a little cheeky cover still got that big four way tag team match to come tonight we know where the teams are now man 
It's going to be Bret Hart and Bulldog versus the Rock and Roll Express versus Kevin Nash and Sting versus Goldberg and Diamond Dallas Page. Goldberg and DDP, man. What a strange team that is. They are two men that fight for WCW, not the Wolfpack, not NWO Hollywood. As Steamboat right now is showing us that he has still got gas in the tank. And another cover here, man. Flair's going to have to turn it on if he wants to get something out of this. Steamboat, able to kick out there. That's Flair. Going to work the leg there. See him do that plenty of times. As Flair now. Oh, he's only looked to drop that knee. And Flair drops the knee right between the eyes. Well, Steamboat being shown us what he can do here. And oh, he's wooing, he's styling and profiling. He's going to lock in the figure four here. And Steamboat is locked in. Can Ricky Steamboat, the ropes are not too far if he can turn. He, oh, he may be able to. As he reverses the pressure, flares right at the ropes. Oh, both men went for shots there. As, oh, watch out, and it's Steamboat's turn. The sleeper hold. The sleeper hold is in flare. God, man. How much a jawbreaker there. So he scoops him up, and Steamboat dropped on that turnbuckle. Flair, Flair and Steamboat, man. Steamboat wanting to show us that he's still got a little something in him too. And Steamboat, he's going up high. Flair, he doesn't know where Steamboat is. He's got no idea. Is and there he is. The dragon can still fly. Oh, 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 so close. Oh, Steamboat is pumped. He's feeling it. Oh, he shots. Oh, did you hear that slap? It's, oh, watch out, watch out, Flair. Flair just caught Steamboat. Oh, possum pin. Look at Steamboat, though, straight back onto him. And, oh, snaps him over. Ricky Steamboat wants to show us that he's still got something. He's showing us his flair. Tripped him down. Going to drop that knee again. And, oh, he's, he's strutting. Ah, his flair now. It's... Choking. And oh man, he might be thinking. Yep, yeah, he's going again here. He's wooing. He's going to lock this in again. The rope once again. They're not too far. Look at Steamboat. Instantly. Instantly turned it. Reverse the pressure. And Ricky Steamboat is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Nature Boy still. Is, and oh, wait a minute. Flair just grabbed him. Oh. Don't know what he was going. He might be going pile driver. Steamboat was able to shoot all the way up. Is Steamboat now. And oh. Is Steamboat. And his sleeper's in again. Flair's trying to reach the ropes. But Steamboat keeps swinging his arms away. And he's out! He's out! Steamboat! What a huge victory for Ricky, the Dragon Steamboat. He's still got it. 
Oh man, when he got out of that second figure four instantly. Man, when the possum, with that right there, I thought that was it. When he got him in that possum pin, I thought that was it. And this, the second figure four, I thought that was it as well. And Ricky the Dragon Steamboat with a huge victory. Proving that maybe he's still got some in the tank as well. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat just defeated the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Well, I've got no idea what's going to happen in this match, literally. <laughs> it's four teams. The winning team will get the Steiners. If the Steiners are available by Starcade. Because <laughs> you're only talking about a few weeks. Well, it's NWO Wolfpack versus NWO Black and White versus WCW versus, I don't know, NWA. <laughs> And it would appear the invisibility glitch is still in full effect. <laughs> There's Nash. Sting is invisible. Okay, I really thought that that would have been fixed by now. Come on, 2K. And you know what? See if that's happening right now. It ain't going to be fixed for the next year because they never fixed it in the last game for a full year. So I don't see them fixing it in this one. So it looks like the invisibility glitch will continue. Kevin Nash and Sting representing the Wolf Pack. Nash and Sting could end up challenging the Steiners for the Tag Team Championships. There he is. Well, here comes a team that everyone that watched last season fell in love with. The Rock and Roll Express gave us some excellent matches, especially with the Von Erics, who are unfortunately not in this game. But you never know, maybe we'll get a good one in Community Creations, because I know somebody wrote in the comments at the end of the last season they'd like to see Kerry Von Erich get a good push, which I was actually planning on doing, um, but unfortunately not in the game. So we'll need to wait and see if delivers but the former tag team champions who lost the titles to the Steiners Visibility glitch. Guess that'll never end. Well, representing the black and white, Brett the Hitman Hart, and Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. These guys would love to get the tag team gold. Brett, of course, who last night was hoping to win the United States Championship in that triple threat match. Booker T, of course, got away with that one. And well, a team that I didn't think would be seeing, but if there's two men that are... WCW, they're not in the black and red, they're not in the black and white. Diamond Dallas Page showed his allegiance to Dusty Rhodes at the end of World War 3 last night when he diamond cuttled Hollywood Hogan in the middle of the ring, given his choice. He ain't Wolfpack, he ain't Hollywood, he's WCW. Well, the runner-up in World War Three was this man. He scooped Kerry Von Erich 
right over his head. Gorilla pressed him over the top rope, only to turn around and Scott Hall was lying in wait, clotheslined him right over the top rope. Scott Hall goes to Starcade and Goldberg still not able to get back to the top. He had match of the year last universe, him and Kevin Nash. It was the... Uh, it wasn't Bash at the Beach, it was the one after Bash at the Beach. I got Fall Brawl. I've done Fall Brawl twice and didn't even realise it. <laughs> I've done two Fall Brawl pay-per-views and can, didn't even realise I've done that. Goldberg and Nash, man, they had a hell of a match. I think he took something like four or five jackhammers. Nash took something like six spears and three or four jackhammers. It was like jack, jack knives and jackhammers. There was a lot of jacking going on between these two men. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, Goldberg and Diamond Dallas Page. Two men I never thought I'd see team. Oh, there's no tags. Uh, <laughs> a part of me wondered if there was going to be... It was if it was going to be a four corner tag, apparently that is not the case. It is warfare, people. As Goldberg and Nash are getting back to it, people. Goldberg and Nash. As this is mayhem. I thought there was going to be tags in this match. And neck wrench by the Bulldog. The Bulldog's got a neck wrench and sting. Now, whoever wins here apparently meets the Steiners. What happens if Brett and Bulldog win? Do they meet the Steiners? NWO versus NWO? Let's look at Nash and Goldberg. No love lost between those two. As Brett just dropped Ricky Morton. Sting and Bulldog are at it. Oh man, look at Robert Gibson. He's up high. If this was Day of Reckoning, it would collide with everybody right now. I wish it would. How cool would that have been if that suplex just demolished the entire ring? It's such a cool effect. As Brett now spots Goldberg. As in the outside now. I mean, this, this is another neck wrench. Oh, Nash though, getting out of it. The inverted atomic drop by Sting. As Ricky Morton, who right now could almost pass as Diamond Dallas Page's his dad. As all oh, Bulldog. Going to bounce him right off the table. Gibson to the outside. Ah, honestly, I don't know why I thought this would be tags, but I did. As Brett just took down Nash. And it looks like NWO on NWO right now. Wolfpack on Hollywood. As Sting and Bulldog going at it on the outside. Bulldog, though, with a big lariat there. Look at Ricky Morton, man, taking it to Goldberg. As Bret Hart gets launched to the outside. Now, I'm guessing here... But this is first pinfall or submission in the ring, which right now is only two, three men. <laughs> Four men. It's Kevin Nash and Bret Hart are going at it. Where the hell is the Bulldog going? He is on the top rope. It's Bret and Nash are having their own little fight here. There's another neck range. Goldberg now. <laughs> Neck Wrench Mania is running wild. Oh man, I need to see what a ladder match is like with this is. Oh, Ricky Morton is gone, man, right to the outside. And we're back to only two in the ring. Anyone could win this. This is anyone's match. It's Bulldog with another neck wrench. Oh my god. So many neck wrenches. Man, Kevin Nash and Bret Hart are having a battle. Ricky Morton and Goldberg are having a battle as well. Oh, man, what was with the shaky camera? As all oh, Page got a submission in. Man, Ricky Morton is really trying to prove himself against Goldberg right now. And oh, man, and Goldberg. into the corner oh a shot there There's, oh man Robert Gibson taken down 
Man, Bulldog and Sting having their own battle as well. Kevin Nash back in his feet. And oh, right through the back of Diamond Dallas Page. Well, the invitation to the Wolfpack was extended to Diamond Dallas Page. He didn't just turn down Hollywood. He turned down the Wolfpack. And Kevin Nash just showed Page all is not forgiven with that boot to the face. As Ricky Morton is still, man, on to Goldberg on the outside. And oh, man. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, ECW's All Out War is going to have an all new meaning this time because I'm going to be changing that up. All Out War, imagine doing this match for like an hour with Iron Man rules <laughs> and having it just, well, I'm, well, there's no count outs, that's for damn sure, but it's Fatal 4, so I'm guessing there's no disqualifications. As Brett is trying to lock in the sharpshooter here, Nash though, too big, able to get out of it instantly. Bulldog took care of Diamond Dallas Page as Nash just took care of two men with one clothesline. As Sting's in, Bulldog just slapped away. His, oh, just bounced off each other there. Oh, Bulldog won that. As oh, wait a minute, look at Nash. Look at Nash. As, and there goes the Bulldog. As the Jackknife Powerbomb connects. As Kevin Nash hooks the leg. And oh! That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Well, you couldn't have scripted it, could you? The Wolf Pack. Well, challenge for the Tag Team Championships. It was short, but it was still pretty mental. I never even saw Bulldog do that. I was too busy watching the sharpshooter. And Kevin Nash and Sting. The team of Kevin Nash and Sting will challenge the Steiner brothers at Starcade, hopefully, for the Tag Team Championship. Scott Hall laid out the disciple tonight. I hope you are watching, Hogan. I hope you are watching because you have got Scott Hall at Starcade. As it stands right now, the Wolfpack and NWO Hollywood. That's two matches booked for Starcade. And it is NWO on NWO. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe. Leave those comments down below. At the end of the last video for Raw, I said I'm going to be starting a wee universe. I might actually be starting it tonight. Uh, I think the decision has definitely been made for Raw. Um, it's going to be Raw Smackdown using the default rosters. Pick one person or team from each show. Pump the difficulty up. Give me a challenge with said person and I need to accomplish that challenge no matter how long it takes. So I think I'm going to go with the one that was written in the comments for the last one. Kurt Hawkins for Universal Championship. I'm going to go for that on Raw but we've got nothing for Smackdown. I need something for Smackdown. Kurt Hawkins won the Universal Championship which I think Brock Lesnar's holding in this game when you hit the default. So that will be very interesting. Um, as for Smackdown I need a challenge for Smackdown I need either a team or a superstar and a goal of some sort that I need to accomplish so please give me some ideas down below thank you for watching, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode